Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on some basic effects that I like to use. Nothing fancy, but by all means it is something that I use in any video that I make. First off, just start with a clip. Um, it can be anything really, I'm just using this as an example. What you want to do is crop it the way that you want, and then create a second video timeline and then copy the same clip and put it right above it. If you go to the side of that timeline, change the top video timeline to a compositing mode of screen. It's the little green picture in picture icon. As you can see that made a huge difference already. I normally do this on select clips but as you can see it brightens it and makes everything a lot more vivid and once you start applying some color distortion effects to this it really makes it nice. The three basic effects that I normally use when I'm distorting a clip is black and white, brightness and contrast, and color correction. Um, normally for the top clip I use the secondary color correction and the bottom clip I normally use just the regular color correction. And really with the color correction you just want to do what looks best to you. Um, me personally I don't go for a particular theme of anything. I just pick what I think enhances the clip the best. Um, right here I'm just editing the clip a little bit. I'm selecting the area in which the boomer is dropping so that I can slow-mo it. And the way that you want to do that is make sure you have your clip selected and then you put the actual marker. I call it a marker. I don't know whatever it is. The little line that you move. You put that where you want to start it and then click S and it'll split your clip right where you put the line and then you move it to wherever you want it to stop and click S again to split that and then to slow-mo something you hold control go to the side of it and extend the clip and that'll make it slower and if you want to make it faster then you can do control and move it to the left instead of the right so expanding it makes it slower condensing it makes it faster And right here, I'm just keyframing when I actually shoot the boomer so that the color distortion kind of changes a little bit. Um, this isn't really how I would go about editing this clip. This is strictly for example purposes, but just kind of shows you what you can do. Keyframing plays a really big part in editing, and if you know how to properly keyframe things, you can have some really nice effects. Now I'm just applying the same three effects on my second clip and you can modify them in any way that you want. The settings on the side that I have listed are the exact settings that I personally use and um, I have them saved as different templates because I find myself using the same settings from time to time so I recommend saving templates that's a big way in how I edit. In the second clip, I just wanted to show how to apply a basic vignette to any clip. It's a really, really easy concept, and I use it mainly for intros and outros because I think it gives it a better look. All you need to do is go to Event Effects and go to Sony Light Rays, and as you can see, I already have the template saved for this particular effect so that I don't have to do it every single time. 
but in this side I put the exact settings of what I use and really depending on the clip all I have to adjust is either the blend or the feather because when you adjust the blend it makes it more light and when you adjust the feather it extends more I hope that this tutorial helps those wanting to learn some new effects and if anybody's looking to learn anything else please leave a comment and I'll try and make a tutorial on it. Thanks again. Bye.